The Department of Analytical Services is Antigua and Barbuda's focal point for the Minimata Convention on Mercury. Director Dr. Linroy Christian says they're developing a Caribbean region mercury monitoring network. It aims to improve regional mercury testing to address data gaps in assessing mercury's global impact on human and environmental right, health. So Antigua will act as the hub of the network and the coordination within the network. And we're partnering with the Biodiversity Research Institute in the U.S. The team collects hair samples from women of childbearing age who they've also asked to complete a survey. The questionnaire is given to the participants uh, to fill out so that we know what they eat, if they're uh, living close to a contaminated site, if they have any occupational exposure to mercury. Dr. Christian says hair can reveal mercury in a person's diet. So we have uh, collected 125 or so hair samples thus far in Antigua. We're here in Barbuda today to collect as many as we can. And once we do that, we analyze it. Um, we hope to work with um, medical doctors as well in terms of interpreting results for persons because at this point it becomes a medical issue should we detect levels that are quite elevated. He says mercury at one part per million or higher is considered dangerous. Dr. Christian says they found elevated levels in 60% of 44 people who gave samples in preliminary testing a few years ago. Meanwhile, wildlife and fish can reveal mercury pollution's environmental impact. Dr. David Evers from Biodiversity Research Institute takes a fish sample at the wharf. The team also took a trip over to the bird sanctuary to get some frigate bird feathers for mercury testing. No luck catching any adult birds, which are distinguished by the black feathers on their head. <coughs> Dr. Evers holds this young bird, which he says can't fly yet. He takes a couple of feathers before returning the creature to its nest. Question. Got it? Did I get it? Yeah. And so I get two because we want to do a split. The Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Dominica, Grenada, Guyana, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia and Trinidad and Tobago have joined the Mercury Monitoring Network. Dr. Christian says participants from these countries will travel to Antigua and Barbuda for hands-on laboratory training. And by the way, the weather's great here in Barbuda. From the Barbuda Lagoon, I am Jamie J. Roche reporting for ABS News.